Because a lot of people are interested in, you know, well, where do I get my religious authority? Yeah. You know, yeah. what should I believe? What should be my faith and practice? Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's, I, I think there's yeah. no doubt that man, you know, sort of sets like, well, think that they can set the, the standard themselves. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's where a that's lot of people, yeah. you know, forget that, you know, yeah. we, we don't set that standard. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But speaking of Time Magazine, uh, I was <laughs> scrolling through my phone looking at, trying to find that article you were yeah. talking about. I came across a guy named Carl Barth. And in 1960, he made the cover of Time Magazine. Mm. He was quite the guy, really, but he uh, he sort of came up with this idea that challenged the Bible as the authority. Is he the guy you're talking about that stood up? And yeah. Hitler? He stood up against Hitler yeah. in, 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 in Germany. Nazi Germany yeah. in that time. So he was a bold, a bold guy, stand-up yeah. guy, but he... He had so an interesting we, view some on... Some of us need to have a little yeah, bit of that right now, exactly, don't we? Exactly. We need some courage like that. But he had an interesting view on the Bible. He said, I think he even accused uh, Christians sometimes of worshiping the Bible instead of Christ. That's interesting. We're talking about all authority, and Christ did just say, uh, I've got all authority. Mm -hmm. Is he right? What? Did, how does the Bible play into this? Well, I, what, what do you think he meant by worshiping the Bible? <sighs> He said uh, he revered, I've already talked about that John verse, yeah. where it says Jesus is the word, mm -hmm. but uh, I call the Bible the word of God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he says I'm wrong for, I don't I can't look at it both ways. So, I think I can, but I don't know. What do you think? So he said we should worship Jesus, not the Bible. Right. But which, which I agree I with I guess that. the question that I would have, how would I know right. Jesus yeah. if you didn't without the Bible? Bible. You know? uh, I wanted the same thing. Well, look. That's a good question. How yeah. do we know? Yeah. How do we know about Jesus? How do we know about? It? Well, I've always just understood that the whole Bible is just the inspired word. Exactly. You know that yeah. that 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 word inspiration I think has a a, a, a lot of meaning. Where do we get that? With that, yeah, that's, we uh, use that Second Timothy yeah, that's right. you know, three, three sixteen three, 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 seventeen yeah. Yeah, sixteen yeah. seventeen there. Our go-to passage. That's you know? our go-to. All scriptures yeah. given to us by God. It's God breathed, inspired. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't know what the guy was thinking about, and I, I, I guess, you know, I know personally, I mean, when I look at a, a book, you know, right. the Bible, I show some mm -hmm. consideration. I mean, I think it's a special book, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. It bothers me if I see somebody throwing it around. Right. Yeah. But, you know, if this book wore out mm. and I had to get rid of it, right. you know, I mean, there's nothing unholy about that. That's but it right. is, But it does contain yeah, the, the words, the words yeah. of yeah. That the are word. given by inspiration. Yeah. The words and the meanings of the words yeah. are holy. Yeah. Yeah. Because they reveal to us Jesus. Yeah. And, and that, I don't know. Well, I think there's a far more to it too, though, than, you know, I mean, not, not that that's, that, that, that's ultimately the most important, but I think, you know, it, for our discussion tonight, you know, it lays the foundation for what we are going to have to do to, to not only know Jesus, but how we are to worship Jesus, how are we are the, the obedience that we, that it takes to understand his will. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, we've discussed over and over the human <clears throat> condition and, and we're all, you know, we have as humans, we have pretty, some things pretty much in common mm -hmm. and every human that I've ever seen that had a rational brain to think with Ultimately, they would say, "Where did I come from? Yeah, you know, what am I doing here? Yeah, those are our uh, three where, points that we've made early on, and yeah. you know, in an earlier. And, and so, where do we find the answer for that discussion in yeah. the, in the scriptures? Right. Yeah, you know. Well, I got a passage here in Second Peter, uh, mm -hmm. the first chapter, and uh, starting in verse twenty, it says, "Above all, you must realize that no prophecy in Scripture ever came from the prophet's own understanding, or from human initiative. No prophet, no." Uh, those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit, and God spoke from and and they spoke from God. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, known so many uh, pulpit ministers and their ability to, to quote scripture yeah. Yeah. and to say the things that you know and and do it not by by reading like I just did from a device or from the actual actual book and and they do that because it is important. Those are important things we need to to know to to understand our life and what. Our purpose is here. Yeah. Well, that's Second Peter there just answered one of my questions. I said, I call the Bible the Word of God. Yeah. Well, I think I'm good to go on that because yeah. it just said, 
Well, I these think, aren't writings of mere people. These yeah. are words of God. Well, well, you know. mentioned John, and I think that's, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. what John says, you know, calling him the, the word. Yeah, right. You know, right. You know well, Jesus I, himself. I don't know if, I mean, I hadn't read this guy. You read the article. I'd like yeah. to do some research on him. But yeah. if I were to get behind his thinking, you know, maybe, and I've heard this argument in some way come up, people say, well, you know, who wrote the Bible? Oh, okay. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so we say, well, you know, Moses, Peter, John, Luke, you know, Matthew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, Paul. actually, Paul, yeah. actually, when you look through it, the, the totality of the whole scriptures, there's about 40 different men. Mm-hmm. And we say, well, men wrote it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and so I guess someone could get confused and say, well, why didn't Jesus write it? Well, that right. goes back to that second Peter, you <laughs> yeah. know, that, you well, know, that you what read, read. You know, the, the scriptures, <laughs> you know, they were of no private interpretation. Yeah. That's what inspiration is. Right. These people wrote as mm-hmm. they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right. I mean, Jesus, right. God, the Holy Spirit, that's one in the same. And they did act under the authority that's right. of Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, nothing we've already said, everything that happens is under the authority of Jesus. And if you look at, if you look at the narrative and the the, right. the story there, I mean, how could forty different people right. just randomly? I mean, uh, you talking about a conspiracy? Right. Right. <laughs> We're right. talking about probability. We right. talked about some yeah. of the anomalies that happened in this past uh, election. Yeah. You know yeah. there, that this would be one of them as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for for that I mean, just randomness. It, ha- right. it had to be by the hand of God. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, when you really break it down, it's yeah. uh, there's no way this thing came together without God's hand in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it tells the story that it tells and reveals to us. Yeah. Uh, there's just no way. And there's no other collection of writings that have ever been scrutinized to the level of the Bible. Oh, no right? doubt. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it no has, every punctuation mark has been scrutinized about the thing, and it comes and you back know, accurate every time. And, and, and not only that, uh, every time it tries to get debunked, you know, what happens, uh, they, they'll find some... Right. Uh, you know, archaeological site or dig somewhere and, and, well, the, and they the, uh, reveal that it's, yeah, well, here we I guess, go. I guess the latest ones were in the, was that in the 50s when they found uh, those uh, Dead, Dead Sea Scrolls? Oh, no. You know, they found one almost complete yeah. book of Isaiah mm-hmm. and, and every other of the fragments, and they're still going through those yeah. fragments yeah. and they're being able to detect them. But, you know, the, the truth of the matter is God has always communicated. Yeah. He's always he's always told. I'm sure you know we read about it. And Moses wrote about the Garden of Eden, yeah. and he said that God came in the cool of the evening mm-hmm. and he walked mm-hmm. talked with them personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's always communicated. Right. Well, you, Hebrews one, yeah, one and two. That's what you're talking about. Right. It says God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets as in these last days spoken to us by his son. Mm-hmm. Which is Jesus. Right. Yeah. Yeah. By Jesus. So yeah. we see all those different ways. So yeah. it's, at one time, God just said, I'm going to talk to Adam yeah. right. and tell him what I want. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk to Noah, yeah. give him a warning that the flood's coming and how he can escape it and save humanity. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go talk to Abraham and tell him how I've got a plan for his future generations of family that are going to mm-hmm. bring Christ to the world and right. salvation. Yeah. So he just spoke directly to these people. And Moses, he uh, spoke to him in a a burning bush bush that wouldn't burn up. Yeah. Yeah. And then Moses delivered to the people God's law. law. Yeah. 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 And actually, uh, I guess at one time, God did do some writing. Yeah. He wrote on a stone. Yeah. 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 You know. And then you keep going, moving forward in time, the prophets, God's revealing to the prophets and they're speaking to the people. And then we get to Jesus. Yeah. And this is when God saw fit to come to earth himself as a man and speak directly to us. Well, you know, I I think uh, we've studied, you know, how God communicates. And I think we've used, rightfully so, that we we speak about different dispensations of time. You know, I mean, we talk about a a dispensation of we call the age of the patriarchs. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. God uh, spoke to the heads. Of God the spoke to the heads of the house, yeah. and then Adam, the prophets, Noah, Adam, Noah, Abraham. You yeah. know, and then we talk about the dispensation of time of the mm. the, the children of Abraham, the, the Israelite, Israelite nation. Yes, I mean Mo, he used Moses to uh-huh. write mm-hmm. a written law, and then and, they had that law. And then Hebrews one one referred to these last days. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people maybe don't understand. He's not. He's talking about a dispensation of time yeah. because he's saying we're living. In the last dispensation. Right now. That's right. right. This is Th- it. There's not going to be another period right. of time when God communicates That's in a right. different way to That's us. That's right. 
he said, you know, here's this is the fulfillment of all of these things. Yeah. And no how other law. And no. how how yeah. are we going to know? That's how right. do we know <laughs> that yeah. this is how, how how are we know that we can be saved? That's right. It's all right here. Yeah. And and we're not worshiping this book. That's right. We're worshiping the the holy words that God has revealed to That's us. That's right. Because you know God's not you know He's not going to come back right now and 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 discuss this with us and talk to uh, us. He's uh, already personally. done that. He's, he's done that right, right here. Right. Yeah. That's what He's left right here for us. Yeah. He's revealed that. As far as worshiping the Bible goes, I mean, the three of us have worshipped together for years. Mm -hmm. uh, if you totaled it up, probably thousands of times. We've I've never heard a prayer given in the name of the Bible. We yeah. pray in yeah. Jesus' name. That's yeah. right. Uh, I mean, maybe we sing a song about the Bible, but mm -hmm. yeah. maybe. But our songs are directed toward that's praising right. Jesus. That's, a, that's it. Uh, yeah. we, when we're taking the Lord's Supper, we don't do it in remembrance of the Bible. We yeah. do it. We do it in remembrance right. of Jesus. We well, talk about the songs. You know, the one that comes to my mind is the one we use with the little kids, the B I B L E. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about that's that earlier. For me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I stand upon well, the Word of God. That's right. right. Yeah. And you know, and the Bible gives us instructions going to those kinds of things, though. You know what? Yeah. What? How to conduct our worship. Right. You know, something yeah. as fundamental as that. Exactly, yeah. 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 It, you know? it reveals those things. That's Second Timothy tells right. us how to be righteous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's, That's what right. the Bible's all about. The The holy thing about the Bible, though, is not the literal physical pages. Right. The holy thing about it is the message that it reveals. That's yeah. right, amen. It tells a story. Yeah, and, uh, and, it, and it is a message. Yeah. You it's know, a, it's yeah. a narrative. A narrative, you yeah. know. A narrative, yeah. yeah. Starting we, from the beginning. Where did right. we come yeah. from? yeah. 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 We came from God. Genesis yeah. one one starts there. Yeah. We're not stardust. We're not a cosmic accident. Our ancestors didn't crawl out of a swamp, mm -hmm. according to fake science. <laughs> I mean, that didn't happen according to the scriptures. We came from God. Yeah, God it, spoke, and here here we are. Everything you know. And last week we talked about being created in the image of God right. mm -hmm. yeah. because God. Surely is an intelligence. We see that in the right. design that he has. That's right. And so he created us to be intelligent. Yes. Right. And he communicated us as intelligent beings. Right. And he did it in various ways that we read about in right. Hebrews 1, 1, and right. 2. One of which now is the scripture. Scripture, yeah. yeah. He's communicated yeah. it to us. And I don't think it's any accident that this thing is here. The hand of God brought this sure, right to no us doubt. to this day. You know, I know we we're, you know, prior discussion before coming on, you know, that's one of the things, you know, you talked yeah. about even, you know, just the, the randomness of that. Oh, yeah. And the you access know. now yeah. that we have to, oh, have yeah. to it. Oh, yeah, that's now. right. Yeah. I what bought this one up at a bookstore. I paid uh, two ninety nine. <laughs> I think it was in the, yeah. I mean, the words <laughs> of life for two ninety nine. That's a good deal. Well, yeah. you know, the, <laughs> I, and we live in a world of technology, and I, I'm amazed. Yeah. I mean, that's I love right. my phone when I can pull yeah. up the Bible. Yeah, yeah. and I can look that's at right. yeah. you know, I can look. Well, right I was there. doing a little deer hunting on uh, yeah. Saturday morning, and yeah. and I went until it got like where I could see. I was sitting there reading my <laughs> reading my verse for the day and just studying the Bible. So. That's pretty good. Isn't yeah, it? the story that it reveals they're starting out in Genesis. We came from God. Uh, mm -hmm. God created us. God loved us. Mm -hmm. We messed up. Mm -hmm. and the Savior's yeah. coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we messed up, but God still loves us, and it, He's fixed. He's he made sure a way does. to fix that for yep. us, and that's what you're talking about yep. with the Savior. Mm -hmm. And that's really, if you want to uh, put the whole Old Testament in one package, that's really what it says. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Savior's coming. Yeah. Jesus mm -hmm. is coming. So the Old Testament's all about Jesus is coming. The New Testament then is Jesus it's is here. here. Yeah, that's what Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John's all about. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Jesus is here. You're talking about the Bible being a holy book, and we should show respect to the book itself. Mm -hmm. But really, more disrespect to the Bible than anything is ignoring it. Yeah, that's right. I think that's a very or, important you know, statement. Yeah. I think that's truly important. Yeah. There's no other way you can disrespect it worse than to well, not take it you know, serious. I, I, I'm I'm sort of jumping ahead a little bit, but you know, I, I think that you know God demands one thing. Obedience, yeah. Right. Yeah. exactly. Always and, you has, know, and always has. Yeah. How do we and know I think what to that's, do? Yeah, well, that's, that's it. Yeah. How do you that's know what to do? What obedience are you talking about? How did right. Adam and right. Eve know what to do? God, God told them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How did the prophets and you know the patriarchs know what to do? I didn't know and know how to build the ark. Yeah. God told them. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't an ark yeah. builder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was ridiculous. So, I mean, so how do we know right. how to find salvation? Exactly. Same way. God tells us. Yeah. Through the scripture. Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't take away at all. And that's what I don't understand is the argument. I don't understand this either or. It doesn't take away at all the authority of Christ. No. Mm -mm. Christ is the word. He mm -hmm. is the authority. Yeah. And, and you know, back to the point that you had about how do we show disrespect for the scripture. 
It's it's so we don't follow. And we don't follow yeah, yeah, right. lack of the, the lack of obedience to uh, following it. Se- right. Second John nine. Uh yeah, second John nine. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. Yeah. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both father and son. Mm-hmm. So if you want to be disrespectful, uh, yeah. don't yeah. obey. Yeah. Don't obey the don't doctrine. Listen to mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's your key word, yeah. and I, I know it says love of God, but here's here it says loving God. I like that yeah. action in yeah, that, the it, ing, yeah. that action in it. Loving God means keeping His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. There you go. That's a that's a New Living Translation. What it yeah. says. So, so the story of the Bible, God loved us even when we messed up. God still loved us, and He brought a plan in place mm-hmm. through Jesus to rescue us. I- Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget all the links to our content is in the description and in the comments below. Check us out anywhere you get podcasts or you can check out our YouTube channel for even more content. Don't forget to subscribe anywhere you get our podcast. Thank you so much for watching the show. We'll be back soon with another episode of The Essential Truth.